All right, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to Tech Dive today. I am building a server. Now this isn't really a server that you think uh, in a traditional sense where it's like got a big old server rack with like a chassis, like crazy chassis and thousand dollar setups and stuff. This is what I like to call a kind of personal server. So what I have here with this motherboard, this is an FM2 motherboard. This is like the cheapest one. I think it's like 40 bucks. This is an FM2 A75MA P33 if you want to buy the same thing. Um, I have the quad core APU, I guess CPU because it doesn't have the graphics part of it. Uh, 8 gigs of RAM. I believe it's 8 gigs. Yes. 8 gigs of RAM. And uh, this is a really, really cheap setup. And this will be a perfect server for Minecraft, Plex. Uh, you could do a home file server with this. I'm pairing it with a three terabyte hard drive and really any of my extra hard drives I'm gonna toss on this baby. I'm really gonna use it for uh, mainly just Plex and Minecraft servers, my number one goal for this. Uh, I just need a basic power supply. Um, one problem with this is that it, this uh, non-APU, APU or whatever, does not include, look, there's a cat, but uh, it does not include graphics out. So really, I'm going to throw this, uh, I believe it's a GTX 760 that was gifted to me by a good friend. Shout out to you if you ever watched this. Um, that'll be my basic video out. If I can, I'll get this 9800 GT going in here. Because one thing this does not need is a uh, really graphical power. But um, with a server like this, you could really benefit from uh, running Steam on it and you could run your games on your server and stream them over your network to like a Steam Link or another gaming computer. Uh, like if you had a really weak laptop, you could hook that up to your Ethernet connection and you could stream your Steam games from your server to your laptop. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool setup. Uh, I'm not really, this isn't really a build guide. That's so much as me just kind of showing you what's going on with this whole thing. Uh, you know, it's the, it's the basic setup. You know, you pop the motherboard in, line it up with all the screw holes, screw all those in, and then you're pretty much good to go. Now, uh, parts I would get, I wouldn't go with anything weaker than probably like an AMD uh, 860K, I believe, is their quad cores. Uh, really, this is kind of the bare minimum. If you want to make it boot fast, I would pop in any kind of SSD, like 120 gigs be good just to put the windows on it for booting. Um, make sure you've got plenty of SATA ports if you really want to do like file serving or Plex, because Plex uses, you know, because really with Plex, uh, there'll be a video about that at some point, I'll tell you about it. But uh, you really don't need too much to run a pretty beefy server that'll do everything you want it to, and uh, really just kind of, you turn it on, leave it in a corner. Uh, you can use type B and C to control it, so you never even have to hook up a display to it. So if you do that, then you don't even need a video card out. But to set it up, you'll still need that video out to install Windows and all your programs onto it. So. All right, so I have motherboard in, video card. Uh, I have one fan hooked up. I think I need to hook up the other fan, but really pretty much done here. Got the hard drive getting hooked up. Uh, and I think I'm ready to go once I have all this done. Uh, things to note with servers, uh, with ones like this where you just wanna kinda set it and forget it, a big roomy case like this I feel like we'll give it really good airflow, so you can just kind of leave it and dust can collect in it. It's okay, dust won't destroy your components, but if you give it more space to kind of move freely and uh, more room for all your components to breathe, then you can probably, you know, instead of dusting once a month, you can dust every three months or whatever, depending on how dusty your room is. Um, in addition to like old video cards for components, old motherboards work great. Uh, really, if you're like running a Minecraft server, uh, Java only likes to use one, maybe two cores on special occasion. 
So uh, IPCs are better than multiple cores for Java. Uh, with Plex and stuff like that, that just that barely uses any CPU at all. I wouldn't even worry about. Like you just use dumpy old like a, a core two duo would work. Old i threes would work for that. And really, just old parts make great servers. So uh, let me finish this build up, and we will get it powered on. Oh, handy things to have if you have if you're already like buying a whole bunch of stuff on Newegg or Amazon. Buy a couple of these. These are uh, four pin Molex to three pin fan connectors. These are lifesavers. Not really lifesavers, but really, uh, like this run right here. This cable is way too short to reach the fan header on the motherboard. If I didn't have this, there'd be no way for me to run this top fan. But with this, I just plug it in like that. I find the nearest small X connector. Plug that back up and boom. I have cooling, and my case is that much cooler, which is great. All right. Enough jibber jabbering, let's just get this thing rolling. Oh, also, I don't worry too much about the cable management. I know that this is abhorrent cable managing, but the airflow is required for this build is so little, uh, I don't worry about it. And also, I have a solid side panel, so there's you won't see it, it won't affect anything, so who cares?